So London is the world's greatest city. It's a fabulous place. People come here because it's a vibrant place. We're adding about 100,000 people to the population of London every year. Roughly equivalent to a full tube train being added to the population of London every three days. Well, our busiest days now, we're carrying over 4.7 million people on the tube alone. We've got 6.5 million bus passengers a day. Been breaking every imaginable record on the system. The need is for us to carry an expanding infrastructure, of course, but also to optimise the capacity of the existing infrastructure. And the Oyster card itself is universally known, universally used, internationally recognised, and it is the, the, the fundamental form in which people pay for our services. There are 10 million Oyster cards in use regularly. Uh, there are nearly 100 million that have been issued since we launched 10 years ago. So it's become really the core of our ticketing in London and uh, a very successful product and one that people absolutely love. Even Oyster, good though it is, is still turning, as it were, people's money into our currency to pay for our services. Now, contactless, where the banks are issuing contactless debit and credit cards, means that you only need one card. And what's happened first on the buses and now on the tube is that our customers immediately can see the value in convenience terms to them of only having one card in their pocket. The product has an appeal to people who are regular users. It's also got appeal to people who are coming in for the first time and don't want to go around navigating the system and buying a ticket. So a very successful product for a very large proportion of our user base. Now, this will replace Oyster overnight, I don't think that's the intention, but actually it does have the great advantage of giving people uh, yet another option for paying for their travel around the city, and I think that's fantastic. I think when we look for partners to make all of these uh, changes and, and evolution in our network happen, I think what we're looking for is people who really get um, our business, who are, are inside with us, if you like, in terms of uh, seeking to understand some of the challenges we've got, some of the constraints that we have in terms of implementing new technology, for example. We've been very fortunate to have the relationship with Cubic where uh, there is a high degree of attention to making sure that things are launched properly and that they work from day one. Our experience with both Oyster and with Contactless is that we have a very reliable system, has not failed. That is the sort of experience that we need to be able to give to our customers, for them to have the confidence to use the system and not worry about their money being at risk. The challenge for the future for us is to embed the use of contactless more widely among the customer base. We already accept mobile payments in London, but uh, it's, uh, it's a very small number of people who have phones that are capable of mobile payment. As that grows, that's going to become more interesting to us as well. And generally speaking, this is an industry where there is a very rapid innovation going on, and we want to remain at the front edge of that innovation if that helps our customers get a better journey. And I think over the years, one of the great successes of Oyster and the great success of Contactless and the great success of our whole ticketing system has been the interaction between my people and Cubic and your understanding of our needs and long may it continue.